Data-driven insights are more important than ever in today's world to innovate, make well-informed decisions and improve goods and service. The problem, however, comes when data is spread among multiple sources, each of which stores data in incomparable formats, such as databases, data warehouses, or even applications. And this discrepancy makes efficient data analysis and cross-referencing a very uh, high challenge requiring costly and time-consuming data migration projects. So, let me introduce you the most recent feature called Database Mirror, which will be important for this data integration process, reducing it from procedures that will take hours, days or weeks to just a few clicks and seconds. Hello everyone and welcome to DevScope channel. With the help of this technique, data can be continuously and seamlessly accessed from databases or data warehouses into Fabric One Lake, doing away with the need for creating pipelines and enabling data insights in almost real time. So what I will show you now is a quick demo on how you can use mirroring database in Fabric to mirror an Azure SQL database and I will show you what you can do with that. So here I am in my Fabric workspace. So to access this feature, you need to come and select the Data Warehouse Experience. If you open it, you will have currently three new uh, options that will be three uh, uh, possibilities that you can use to mirror different kinds of databases. The first one will be mirror Azure SQL database. You can also mirror Azure Cosmos DB and also a Snowflake database. These are the currently available options so, so you can uh, mirror uh, what you need, any database that you have in another server inside Fabric. So what I will show you is how you can use the mirror feature in an Azure SQL database. So I will select and the first thing that I need to do is give it a name I will give the same name as the database that I have in my SQL Server. I will create and now I will get a, a, a pop-up that um, will bring me a new connection to create. I will create a new connection to my Azure SQL database. For that, I will need to access my uh, SQL database on my SQL server. I will need my server name and the database name. And I got everything I need to establish a new connection. So now I'm presented with this screen where I have a, a toggle on mirror all data so I can mirror everything that I have as a table, as an object in my database on, on Azure SQL Server to my uh, Fabric environment. The thing is, I may want to take a look and uh, uh, see uh, and select specific tables that I want to, to bring on. So as you can see, if I uh, untoggle this uh, mirror all data, I will uh, uh, get available a list of all the tables that I have in my database. I can search for those tables Okay, and I can select which tables I want to, um, to mirror. One thing that you need to pay attention is are some limitations on uh, mirroring and what specifications your database may need. So this feature is not supported on free, basic and standard tier single databases on, mm. on uh, Azure at least, uh, and also in some uh, uh, situations in, with the elastic pools. Okay? So, as you can see here, you can see some uh, alert and some warning and error icons here. Um, some data types are not supported. Okay, uh, tables with uh, without primary key are also not supported. Uh, you will see you up front why. And also, for example, uh, uh, ledger tables, uh, system version of temporal tables are also not supported uh, in. Uh, this mirror feature. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to select, for this example, I will select two tables. 
I will get to my orders and I will select the, my orders table and my order lines. That will be enough to show you this. So after I select the tables that I want to mirror, I just need to click on mirror database and the mirror process will start. So as you, you will see in a moment, so now I'm getting um, a text where it says to me that my mirror uh, uh, is running, okay? I can click on monitor replication, so I have access on which tables are being replicated. Okay, I have all the information on my status, on in this case is running, uh, my source, the, my destination, um, also some, my, the mirror database ID, and also the, all the tables that I've uh, uh, selected for replication, e status, and in a moment, this is the first running, so I'm getting for the first time all the rows from my database to this um, fabric workspace and in a moment you will see uh, the total rows replicated that will be equivalent for the total rows that I have in these specific tables in my Azure SQL Server. So as I waited a few seconds, I now have all the total rows replicated from the Azure SQL Server tables to the fabric workspace. Okay, so as you can see, I have a few rows replicated. I have the last refresh information. So if I uh, over this refresh icon, I can see that um, the, the monitoring status uh, have a refresh window of 60 seconds. So that will be uh, similar to the time of the refresh between the SQL Server content to the Fabric content. So this uh, engine we use as, as uh, the CDC engine so every time I have a new uh, uh, register on the tables on the SQL server or I have, I have any update on any row by primary key I will have those changes uh, applied also on the next refresh almost in real time in fabric okay so I have I already have my tables replicated if I, I want to stop the replication I just I just need to click on stop replication. But now what I'm going to show you is while you're doing the replication, you will also have access to a SQL endpoint. If I switch here on the top to a SQL endpoint, I will have um, a warehouse, okay, with all the tables that I have just mirrored, which I can basically do anything I want um, since writing SQL queries, uh, even on T-SQL or visual queries, I can create uh, models on these tables, I can create reports over those models. So basically you will have access to all the features that you may have on a warehouse and of course you can uh, use this data uh, with all the features on Fabric since AI, uh, data modulation, reporting and so on. So that's the big uh, uh, thing on mirroring because you can keep all the, the, the infrastructure that you already have on your Azure SQL servers or other kind of servers and uh, without doing any extra work uh, for, for like building ETL pipelines on Fabric to uh, uh, replicate uh, the information that you have, you can just use this feature and you in a few seconds, in a few minutes, okay, uh, you will have all the information replicated here, okay? One more thing that I want to show you is I will go over to my management studio. Now I'm connected to my uh, Azure SQL Server, to my database, Worldwide Importers. Uh, I will just want to show you something that you can check uh, on logging uh, on, the, on this uh, specific um, uh, replication. So if you execute this sort of procedure, help change feed, you will have access to all the replication status okay uh, currently it's, bas it's basically the monitoring query for for it for the your fabric and you can see it also uh, if you if you query directly over your uh, database of on your sql server okay so basically currently i have two replications running um, those two are of course the tables that you just saw, orders and order lines. I will also uh, add some information on the schema names, the, the, uh, some uh, workspace IDs, table IDs, signups, work group name, okay? 
So snapshot row count. So you have access to all the, the, the rows that have been replicated, start times and times for the last replications and so on. Okay. You can also have access to the replication logs if you check on this table. Okay. Also, some feed errors that you may have. Currently, I have none, but you also have a table for that. And of course, if you want to check all the requests that have been applied, uh, there's a, a way to do that. If you search on this table, the MSAC requests, uh, search for the comments with signups uh, and we, we specifically with the signups link. Okay, basically, the technology is the same. So for the synapse link, okay? And if you check, you will have two, two commands here, snapshot and capture, that will target the database and are uh, basically identifiers of your replications, okay? And you can check here for, for information on the CPU times, on the reads, writes, and so on. So now uh, I'm going to do a quick text on the tables that I'm currently replicating. And can I do something on them? Can I uh, delete the registers? What will happen? Can I drop the table? Can uh, 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 What can I do on this table, okay? So the order lines are one of the tables that I'm currently replicating. So the first test that I will do is the drop table test. If I do the drop, as you can see, I cannot drop this table or the lines because it is being used on change feed. So basically, I, this table is being identified that is being used on a replication. So I can delete it. I can drop the table. Okay. Um, can I truncate the registers on the order lines table? Hmm. Okay. I cannot truncate the order lines since if I truncate the table, I'll I will uh, I will lose all uh, the the um, the sequence are my primary keys, okay? And this technology relies on that sequence for, relies on the CDC uh, technology to be able to update all the registers uh, uh, that on, on my destination that will be the fra fabric uh, mirroring warehouse. Um, so I cannot truncate the table yet, but can I delete um, the, the registers on the other lines? So all my rows are deleted from this table, so I can do this. So let's take a look at the monitoring of the uh, mirror monitoring. And let's see, um, like I'm going to switch to mirror database and let's see if my uh, rows replicated will change. So the data just refreshed. If I uh, select count my sales order on my uh, warehouse, I will get the same number of rows. So even if I delete the data on my uh, Azure SQL Server table, I th th that will not be reflected on the, the table on Fabric. So main takeaways that I take from this feature, I really love it. I, I think it will be very, very practical for anyone that want to start to do their migrations from their other servers to and bring all the data that they want to Fabric and start to play with all the features that Fabric uh, uh, have available. You will be able to eliminate data silos with that. Okay, so no uh, uh, process for the same thing uh, spread across your uh, organization. You will save a lot of time. You will save, save money with, that, with this. And of course, um, even uh, if I doing a replication, I don't have the problem of waiting a long time to have the data updated on both sides. So this is near real time. In summary, Microsoft Fabric Database mirroring is a major advancement in analytics and data management, and businesses can now concentrate more on using their data for strategic decisions instead of worrying about the challenge of data migration. Uh, the data integration process is now simplified thanks to this easy method to make the data available on Fabric. 
and it will be interesting to watch how this technology develops and how it continues to influence data-driven strategies in the future uh, for Microsoft Fabric. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Tell me what's on your mind about this feature on mirroring in the comments. I really want to know that. And please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.